Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited. I'm going to be decorating the house or at least getting started for Easter and just making this house feel brighter and more exciting while it has been raining here. We are gonna start bringing in the spring vibes. If you're new here, my name is Laura Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking and I'd love it if you would subscribe. If you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay, let's jump into this beautiful day. Since Chewie was up after his lunch, I thought I would show him to you guys and let you say hi. He's doing very well today. He's in a very good mood lately. So we are going to just cuddle him up so he can go back to his nap. And then I wanted to come in the living room and kind of just get this area started to get decorating. I really think I've come with a good plan, or at least come together with a good plan for this space. I'm going to be adding a lot of bookshelves. I think that's the one thing that's really making this house not feel warm is there isn't any like where to put um, photo uh, albums and picture frames and just little things that are meaningful to my husband and I and our children. So I'm in the process of looking for a really big one for one wall and then we're going to be building a giant one on the wall where the fireplace is. Fortuna wanted to join us today so she is obviously not letting me love on her but I'm going to get my lovies Either way, because she's such a stinker, tell us in the comments down below if you have one of those cats that wants your attention, but the second you put your hand out, they walk away. She is like that. Enzo's like that. Friuccio, not like that. And the new cat is not like that. Sophie's not like that. She loves all the lovies. But it's so funny. Finally, when I do pet them, they like tend to love it, but whatever. Anyway, so after I'm done loving on Fortuna, we are going to start kind of rearranging this room. I really want to create separation from the front door to the staircase. So I thought by putting a very large bouquet of flowers right there, maybe it would create a little bit of a diversion so that when you walk into the house, it's not the first thing you see. But you guys will have to tell me what you think down in the comments down below. I'm filming this towards the end of February. I cannot believe how fast February went by. I like, honestly, I thought it was going to be a super slow month, but it's, I just can't believe how fast time is flying. But I wanted to get things up and ready for Easter as far as like just, you know, changing up the florals, adding a couple bunnies around the house. I don't have all of my Easter decor out, but I will say when I had all my Easter decor brought home, my husband went and got all of it in the storage unit. A bunch of it was missing or was broken and I think I need some new decor. So I'm going to go decor shopping at um, probably just Home Goods and Target. We have a Hobby Lobby and like a Kirkland's and whatnot about 45 minutes away from me and I just don't have the time to go do that. But Home Goods is always a great place to start and also the prices are really affordable. So I'm going to check them out and we will continue to decorate throughout here because um, I just didn't have the decor I was really looking for. And again, having those bookshelves is going to give me so much more room to kind of like add really cute stuff and warm it up. But for this area, I wanted to, again, kind of create separation between the front door and the kitchen and the staircase. So I thought by putting a large floral arrangement here, it might really separate. It actually worked out beautifully. But then I also thought, what if I just put a large table in the middle of this area that you either walk to the left or right of? I think that would be neat as well. I love when you guys send me emails of ideas for the house because it's kind of hard when you're living in the house to actually see what um, you guys see. So I really love your advice. I don't know when we will be able to start construction in here. We have um, a rental house that my mom left to me when she passed away that um, needs a lot of work. So that's going to take priority over our house. But once that house is done, we'll be able to really start to work in here. I'm not sure if I will take you guys along the journey of redoing that house. If I do, um, it will probably be in the next month and a half. So it'll be a summer project. 
Um, so we're gutting the whole house, redoing the kitchen, bathrooms, redoing the floors, all of that stuff, redoing the front yard, painting it, um, everything. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely let me know down in the comments. I wasn't going to film over there, just, I don't know why, I just, I'm not a DIY, a DIY channel in that sense. Um, but if you guys are interested in it, definitely take you along with me. So to get started in this area, I thought I would add some pink florals and just kind of bring in that essence of spring. It has been so beautiful out the last like two days, but now we're going into two weeks of on and off again rain. And I've had kind of rough allergies this year, I think because we have all these wonderful little cherry blossoms outside. Um, I've been struggling a little bit, but I don't know if it's a cold or if it is um, a uh, like allergies, I'm not sure. But anyway, but what was interesting is when I was doing all of this decorating, I started to not feel so great. I ended up taking a break and taking a nice hot bath and that definitely helped, but that was a couple days ago and I'm still not feeling up to, um, I'm still not feeling absolutely 100%, but the bath definitely did help and I'll show you guys that in a minute because I got this very cool new pillow that I have to show you that goes in the bathtub and it is amazing. I really want to build up this entryway and add either a kind of a bookshelf or secretary over here, but for now I'm just going to add this mirror back. I was waiting for my husband to finish. He's been building a kind of workshop for crafts and just things in um, our storage, kind of with the storage shed next to our house. So when he was done with that, he came in and actually hung this, but for now I just wanted to prop it up so you guys could see what it looked like because I was very excited to finish this project and then take a little time to rest today but um eventually i want to really build out this area right now my son still plays basketball in the house but we're thinking of building a sport court in the back where he can play basketball year round so that would be great and then get rid of the basketball hoop in here um for sure this summer for sure this summer we will end up taking it down just because a lot of times I don't put decor in here because I don't want it to get broken. And these garlands and all of the wreaths that I use are all from Balsam Hill. I'll link them down below. I love this spring collection. I don't know if you know, Balsam Hill is not just Christmas trees. It's like all things, spring, Halloween, any holiday that even have 4th of July stuff, like they have stuff for every single holiday. These bunnies are also from Balsam Hill. I love using their products because they are such high quality. They last forever and you can always snag them on sale. If you um, subscribe to their uh, mailing list, they will always tell you when things are on sale. I was just going to use my very simple kind of wood and green bunnies to not bring in like all Easter vibes, but then I saw these little cuties and thought, 
I would put them up as well. I love these nesting eggs. I found all of these nesting eggs with the exception of a couple that were my mom's at World Market and I just love them. I love how nostalgic they are, but I also love that they're really easy to store during the off season. And then I got my bunnies from storage and one was missing a leg in, in here. So I decided to just put some toothpicks in there and see if I can't just get him to just kind of hang out in this little corner. Eventually I need to hot glue this and kind of figure out what to do with the ear situation. But I like them so much I wasn't willing to um, get rid of them. So I have a little bunny basket, like a little that goes on this, uh, the girl, and I found another Easter basket. I'm going to put just down by his foot and then I'll fill it in with little vegetables. Typically for Easter, I always like to go with kind of like a bunny who broke into the garden and stole all my vegetables. So I'm going to add some cabbage to that and some carrots and some really sweet little eggs I got from Michael's years ago and just kind of warm this area up. Eventually when I go do all my Easter shopping, we can come together and really, really decorate the house. Right now I'm just trying to decorate as much as I can with what I have and then we will maybe go shopping. I never do shopping videos on my channel, but um, I definitely will maybe show you some of the new things we pick up and do a whole lot more decorating because... I want to do more. And then we also have St. Patrick's Day. I always go above and beyond for St. Patrick's Day because it's such a fun, magical, whimsical time of year. So we're definitely going to do that. And um, I know I didn't film Valentine's Day. It just got away from me this year, but we did do a really fun surprise for the kids that morning. I didn't, I think I didn't undecorate with me with you guys, but anyway, we definitely have a whole lot more coming up. I feel like everything turned out so sweet for Easter and just welcoming in the spring season. I also like these chairs moved over here a lot more. I think, again, it's going to look a lot better when we get these bookshelves in here and start to warm the space up. And then eventually, we during summer when the kids are out of school, we will do hardwood floors all the way upstairs. Right now, I don't want to deal with the kids moving downstairs in the middle of school. So as soon as they're out, we will do that. And I'm thinking about changing the way the staircase is oriented. So that could be really exciting if you guys want to stick around and see that. I picked up that all these pillows at Home Goods, and I just love how spring-like they are. And our Easter bunnies are looking good. And on the mantle, I just added some florals and those green bunnies I've had forever. Right now, as of today, I don't have a single thing for Easter that is new. Everything I have is... Um, I've had for many years. I didn't, I don't think I got new stuff last year. I think everything I've had for a couple years now. So I am really excited about kind of adding a little new Easter decor to my collection. You'll have to subscribe to see the big kind of Easter decorate with me. I'm going to be doing the whole house. Um, but for now we just got started in this room. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to head into the bathroom. It's about an hour until I need to start making dinner. And I wanted to just relax, have a nice lavender bath. I also was gifted a really cool pillow for my bathtub and I can't wait to share it with you.
So now that I'm done, I wanted to take a bath and I remembered that this company called Batty Sofa sent me this pillow and I, when they reached out, I was so excited because the new bathtub I have, which you guys know is like over the top crazy, has the hardest pillow I'll show you in a minute. And it makes it really hard to like lay your body back and relax. I think it's true for all bathtubs to be honest. So when they reached out to see if I wanted to try their product, I was actually really excited and what a better day having been decorating all day and feeling a little crummy to make a sofa out of my bathtub, put a little lavender in there and relax. If you guys aren't familiar with Batty Sofa as I wasn't, I'd love to tell you a little bit more about them. They have a beautiful design and they're really comfortable to use. It's 100% waterproof so it doesn't get heavy and it actually dries very quickly. Both the cushion cover and the inner cushion are machine washable and can with stand things like bath salts and oils which I love to use I actually went on and, and ordered the foot pillow because they have an entire set they have a back pillow a seat pillow and a foot pillow they only sent me the back pillow but I wanted to get the whole set because they did give me a code I'll share it with you here in a minute but this is a game changer for self-care and just taking a time out. It has a very small weight here at the bottom that keeps it from having any buoyancy and floating and kind of moving around. It just is, I can't even begin to tell you how luxury this item is to have in your self-care lineup. So some of the other things I like is that it's also mold resistant. I was a little nervous the first time I used it because I thought like bacteria and mold would grow. It doesn't at all. It is in resistant to all of that and it dries right in the bathtub. Super easy. All I did was flip it over twice and then you can actually remove the pillow insert in the middle and wash them if you would like to. It's very easy. It comes in six different colors in five different sizes. It's washable and it's hand sewn. This has to be one of the coolest products I think I've ever been sent. And when, again, when they reached out, I was like, I have to try this. This is something right up my alley. As you can see, this is the current pillow that I have on my bathtub and when I get this thing started and laid inside I was watching um, I was actually watching QVC uh, plus HSN plus because I just like their shows and I like to see all the decor that's going on on there and I almost fell asleep it felt so good to relax on this pillow so if you're looking to level up your self-care check out the link in my description box and use code lauren15 at batty sofa for 15 percent off your first order my pillow is the small pillow in ivory thank you so much to batty sofa for sending me this pillow and giving me a good 20 30 minutes to relax before it's time to start making dinner Now that I'm all clean and relaxed, it's time to make dinner. And since I'm not feeling great, I decided to make one of my mom's recipes from her recipe book. And this is her leek and mushroom soup. It is one of my favorites and it's super easy to make. To get started, just go ahead and chop up two of the white parts of a leek it's kind of easy to spot when you're at the grocery store. Find leeks that have a very long white part and not a whole lot of green because you're not going to use that part. Next thing you're going to do is chop up one medium sized yellow onion and we're just going to add all of that into a pile because we're going to saute that down in a Dutch oven with some butter. I did end up getting the caraway um, set of uh, new pots and pans. I needed new pots and pans and I went with their black with the gold top. Okay, they were really expensive, I have to be honest, but they are amazing. Highly recommend. The other thing we're going to do is chop up some shallots. So this recipe calls for leeks, yellow onions, and shallots, and we're also going to be adding in some garlic as well. To get started, I'm going to get my new caraway pot. I love this. I think it's so beautiful. I'm going to order some more. They're just so expensive. I'm just kind of like waiting a couple of months before I buy some more, but I really, really love them. I'm going to add in an entire stick of butter, all of our onions and shallots and leeks, and let that saute on a medium heat for about five to six minutes until translucent and fragrant. Once 
once all of the onions have kind of stewed down, I also added some garlic in there. I don't think I filmed it though. I'm gonna add in some fresh thyme. I'm gonna add about three sprigs of that. We're gonna pull that out later before we serve this, but the flavor is just so delicious. The next thing we're gonna do is add in our mushrooms. I chopped all those up or diced them, and you can actually make this creamy by when you're done, putting it in a blender, but I don't. My mom always made it this way, and I just love it. It always warms my whole body up. It's a great um, soup to have during these cold months, and especially if you're not feeling good. So once you add the mushrooms in, kind of incorporate everything in, we're gonna start adding some flour. I will put the recipe down below for you guys if you're interested. And um, I'm gonna add the flour in, so it makes a bit of a roux. It's really gonna thicken this um, soup up. And then once you're done adding the flour, we're gonna add in about three to four cups of chicken broth. I like to use a bone broth, but especially if you're not feeling well, bone broth is really, really good. Otherwise, just any old chicken broth will do. Next, you're gonna add in just a little bit of sherry vinegar. This is just gonna give it a very rich, luxurious taste. It smells so good. I wish you guys were in my kitchen. Next, I'm gonna be adding in some heavy whipping cream. You could also use half and half if you didn't want it to have so much fat, but I like it this way. So I'm going to add that in and stir that. And then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of cayenne pepper to the top. This isn't spicy enough so the kids can eat it, but I just find that it gives it a little bit of kick of flavor and balances out that cherry vinaigrette. Now it's time to ladle them into my soup bowls. I get a lot of questions about these soup bowls. I've had them for a long time. They're actually my mom's. Um, I've had them for many, many years. Um, she gave them to me, but I don't know where to find them, but I have seen some at Home Goods, so definitely check there. And I've also seen some on Amazon. If I can find some, I'll link them down below for you guys, but I just think they're so classic and beautiful. They're also really good with my tomato puff pastry soup, which is on my website at laurennicholson.com. And I used to have the membership page where I had all my recipes, but I'm working on making that all public so I don't have any confusion and all that. But I did want to say a special thank you to everybody who joined my membership at one point or another. It was so sweet of you to support my channel and I really, really do appreciate it. So definitely send me an email and tell me if you were one of those people. I'd love to personally thank you. On top of our soup, I'm gonna add some fresh thyme and a little more of that cayenne pepper for my husband and I, and that is dinner for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and starting to decorate for Easter. I cannot wait to do so much more, and I will see you in the next video very soon, and if you want to have a luxury bath, check out the baddie sofa pillow. I swear, it'll feel like you are taking a bath on your couch. It seems kind of weird, but super luxurious. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye.